All right, everybody. We are using Total Boats polyester resin, laminating resin. Not the finished resin, but the laminating resin. Ta -da! And this is our methyl ethyl keton pyroxide. So we've got a quart in there, and we're going to put 10 cc's of the magic Club potion. And CC's right there. And we're gonna give it a stir up. Right, move my roller. Yeah. All right. I got this. Get me another, another thing of resin. Another quart. One more? Um, half a quart.
Well, good morning, everybody. Here we are again in the boat yard, and uh, we're getting ready to uh, spray some gel coat. One of my favorite things, putting gel coat down on uh, on uh, some fiberglass. There, um, what we're working on is the lid uh, or countertop for the engine in the galley, and uh, y'all have been following along on this. And now today we get to uh, spray some gel coat on the bottom side. Top side will come possibly later today. We don't know. We'll just have to see what the weather does. But um, follow us along on this. So, of course, as always, we'll be using Total Boat's gel coat. Total Boat products have done really well for me. I've used all kinds of different brands and different suppliers, but Total Boat has been consistently uh, the one that I'd like to go back to. So here's what we're working on. Okay, this is the um, lid to the engine. Uh, we made some changes in the P35. The whole design of the engine access galley is all being done differently. So this we have is uh, poplar. I believe this is poplar um, hardwood. And then we have birch plywood here. Uh, we made a frame all the way around. This piece here is a strong back, okay? Um, that's to help... Um, you know, I don't want any flex in this thing. People are going to be stepping on it, walking on it, and I want them to be able to step down on there with a with a sense of security. And uh, here we got something that's interesting. I'll show you guys that now. This is our gel coat sprayer. All right, this thing here is absolutely a game changer. Uh, and you'll see how this works. Um, basically, it's, uh, it's a miracle maker. If you're dealing with... Um, uh, spraying gel coat and things of that nature. It also sprays glue and all kinds of other things, but uh, we use it basically for shooting gel coat. Alright guys, so um, I'm going to set you down over here and then we'll get things uh, get get ready to spray some uh, spray some of that good old gel coat. Alright, let's go ahead and get some gloves on and uh, we're going to be spraying 16 ounces. I think believe 16 ounces should give us a nice good a thick coat of gel coat and this is a waxed gel coat and the thing about the wax gel coat is gel coat needs uh, to be curing in the absence of air in other words uh, it'll stay sticky if you don't if you cure it just open to the atmosphere there's several different ways you can prevent that one and the easiest way is to use waxed gel coat they actually add a little wax in here it's sometimes called modifier C and what that does is that floats to the surface and forms an occlusive seal um, which allows the gel coat to to cure properly. Another way of doing that is uh, there's a chemical called PVA. 
you can use PVA and it's a water soluble spray that uh, you can spray over your gel coat and um, that will allow it to cure um, tack free as well all right so there we go a little total boat um, measuring cup here we're going to put in 16 ounces right in there okay there you go 60 ounces normally I catalyze at 10 cc's per quart but here um, I am going to like catalyze a little hotter because I want this stuff to kick somewhat faster because um, it's, it's not a ragingly hot day today so we're going to um, we're going to catalyze this at 10 cc's all right guys um, need to get me a stirring stick first we're going to dump this stuff in here uh, this is a paper cup and you're going to see what this does what we do with this in our fancy dancy sprayer so we get all of this gel coat goodness in there yes sir loving it all right there's that we'll wash that out here in a few minutes and uh, we're going to need a stirring stick and this looks like a stirring stick to me doesn't have too much anything on it doesn't have anything on it really a little fiber deal there but it's all good so we're going to add um, 10 cc's and mix up this little hot batch I'm going to have to put my uh, put my mask on because you don't want to be breathing this stuff. Um, so my voice is going to get a little muffled, but you guys hang in there. And uh... also, you got to hold this in the upright position unless you're spraying, because it'll just dribble out of there. Whoa! Just like that. So get this put in like such. So that's what it looks like ready to go. And you start your spraying like that. So this is what she looks like. Yep, this is what it looks like. With 16 ounces of uh, gel coat sprayed on a two foot by four foot panel. So that's eight square feet and uh, 16 ounces of gel coat to do that job. And I really like the way this turned out. There's a little bit of one or two little spots I don't know if you can see it where it kind of breaks through just a little bit right in there but it's not much at all and in fact this underside is going to get soundproofing um, application of some kind of foam or something in there for sound deadening keep the sound of the engine down but that's about what we got going there guys and I'm gonna get cleaned up and clean up all this gear and then I'm gonna go have some lunch y'all guys have a great day